Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome to the adventures of Emperor Lex in Carpathia. Carpathia? Crusader Kings 2, not Carpathia Kings 2. More like Carpathian Emperors 2. Or 300 and something, depending on what episode this is. So last time I got this message from my Chancellor and I ignored it. He's like, my liege, my work in uh, Mancia seems to have come to fruition. My bribing, cajoling, extorting, and threatening, and forging documents, I've managed to fabricate a claim on the county. Uh, what would it take to get the claim? 658 gold? No, we will let it go and get 10 piety, because we're such good holy people. Speaking of which, we are a part of a crusade in the east for these territories here. We're not actually participating. We're technically, we were the first one to join the crusade, as in, yeah, high priest, us too. But we haven't sent anybody to go fight, because we are fighting the holy war in Germany. Um... Are you guys not moving here? Where we are, um... How do I start this? Watch the last episode. Basically, the Catholics have declared a holy war on France. A crusade to take it over because France has become lollard. They're no longer Catholic. Well, their leaders are. And to protect France and to grow our empire, we declared war on the king of Germany. Well, we declared war on the Holy Roman Empire because this vassal, the king of Germany, was a part of the crusade against France. And if we do this right, we can take part of Germany from the King of Germany. And we're fighting a battle here, and we lost something else somewhere else. No one cares. And right now we're trying to destroy the army of the Holy Roman Empire. Because that ought to give us some good war score. We're right up here attacking them. We are outnumbering them 3 to 1. We have more reinforcements in the way. They're trying to send reinforcements down here too. Come on, let's win it! We've already smashed their flank, we're smashing their center! In fact, now they're scared to send in reinforcements. Winning! We won at the Battle of Shitfurt, or whatever it was. Uh, y'all move right here. This army split in half. Let's take the bigger chunk and move it there. Unfortunately, we have a bunch of people dying of attrition there. I thought that area would support more people. What are you going to do? Unfortunately, that sometimes happens. Come on, get those guys out of that territory. They can't support that many troops. Uh, we will merge these guys. Defeat in the battle of what? Oh. Oh. Don't tell me you're walking through there. Apparently some guys... I forgot the Holy Roman Empire owns this one little territory way in the middle of Carpathia that I figured one of our vassals would take over by now, but nobody's ever bothered to do it. Alright, why don't we merge these guys. And then we're gonna send y'all in here and y'all in here and these guys are gonna go all the way through. Right now we have 11% war score against them because we are winning battles left and right. We lost that little one, but whatever. No one cares. Uh, let's get you dweebs up here somewhere. Speaking of which, how many troops does the Holy Roman Emperor have left? 10,000. We've destroyed almost half his army. In fact, if we could destroy both these armies, we'd be in really good shape. Alright, let's get those reinforcements up there. We've got them outnumbered big time. They got their reinforcements in there, but we've got more on the way. I said butts. Alright, why don't we merge these guys to split them in two? For some reason I have ghost control on my mind. That's a fun game if you haven't played it. I mean, I'm not like trying to do ads for my own LPs. I don't know, sometimes you find really fun indie games like that. You think Crusader Kings 2 is jealous now? How dare you talk about another game when you're with me? I'm sorry! I still love you, Crusader Kings 2, most of the time. What? Some of your game mechanics are a little janky. How dare you! I'm going to my mom's house tonight. Sorry, Crusader Kings 2. Don't tell him, but I'm going to play Total War tonight. <laughs> 
I'm such a slut. We are crushing this army right here. Victory at the Battle of Urfart. I mean, Furt. You know what I meant. So why don't we... Hmm. We'll split these armies. You go that way. You go this way. We're at 23% war score. How big is this army? It's down to two and a half thousand. Ooh, look at that! France is actually have enough... Has enough guys! I got too excited! Where they might win a battle there against the... Was it? Knights Templar? Good, good, good. How weird it is that we're here to help France, <laughs> considering we took Paris from them, we took uh, Southeast England from them. They have somewhat dubious providence. High Chief Iokim of Swabia has presented me with evidence that Sham and Krasmer is plotting treason. Whoa. No. I don't fuck with Shaman. I ain't saying nothing. You, you fuck with a Shaman in our empire and you get killed. A dirty secret. Just the other day, as I was skulking, Emperor Lex was, I caught Chief Sledislava of Billa and my concubine Tadorkin Flagrante. They didn't notice me, but I'm still in shock. She's a married woman. Your concubine's married? No, she's not. She's just your fuck lady. Expose them. What a hypocrite. <laughs> That's their society, though, right? My concubine's a whore for sleeping with other people. Yeah, it's good. Oh, man. The knights got more. France needs more. They're down to 31% war score against them. Victory in some battle. I need to be paying attention to what's going on. Victory! So why don't we move these guys down here as we get these sieges going on... We've still got armies from the east trying to show up. They're going to be like, oh man, is there anything left to pillage? Yeah, you better hurry. All the good stuff goes on the first day. My prisoner could rot. Ooh, I get really annoyed by those. There's probably a way to turn those off. Sometimes I do care about those messages, but right now, anybody in prison, we want to stay in prison. We're at 23% war score in our favor. Do we send more troops to the east? Uh-oh. What the hell happened there? Did the Holy War end? I think it did. Oh my god, England is now England again. Apparently France fell apart. Big time. There's a French revolt. This guy claims he's going to be like king or whatever. What's he fighting for? He's attacking the queen. What happened to the queen? Wow, how, that turned around quickly. So this guy is the king of England. There's a finally an independent king of England, and he is Catholic. Unfortunately for him, some of his areas are lullard. Good, hopefully that means he's going to have a bunch of rebellions. Interesting. Hmm. In France, so much for trying to save them. Where's the queen? Oh, wait, is that her right there? The poor queen of France. She's, why is she mad at me? <laughs> She wants to control all these duchies. Girl, it ain't my fault your country fell apart. I try to help your dumb ass. Yeah, apparently she lost and the Catholics won. That's not good because that will help the Catholics with their moral authority, having won a holy war. And the fact that now there's a Catholic king of England. My, how that's unexpected. I didn't think England was ever going to come back as an independent entity. Victory in the battle of something or other. How odd it is to see the Pope fight a holy war against someone that's not us. Let's see, so... Oh, we have a new heir! We have a new baby! 
Little Balin Lexoff. So let's see. The Oh, Emperor Lex has fulfilled his ambition to have a son. Uh, why don't you try and have a daughter? Oh, we just picked that ambition. And I was trying to, but too many cool things are happening. Let's see, we're fighting the King of Sweden. Some dweeb. Uh, the Knights Templar. The Idiot Pope. And the Kingdom of Aquitaine. Uh, is this it? No. I think it's this right here, isn't it? That's the Kingdom of Aquitaine. <laughs> I think they own this too. They used to own all of southern France. Poor France. Man, look at Western Europe. It's just falling apart. The English better watch out, though. The French may be back. If not, maybe we should take advantage of this when we get an opportunity. First things first, though, we have to defeat the Holy Roman Empire and take this chunk of Germany, which is rightfully ours because of the fact that we're Tangri and Tangri the Goose God would want us to have it. We got a little money. Why don't we... Let's go back to our capital. You know, actually, we're going to buy some more troops. Let us buy some retinue troops. Let us buy... What are these? Light infantry? Let's buy some archers and light infantry. Some more archers and light infantry. Archers and... Infantry. Pikemen. More pikemen. And then we're going to just merge all these guys here. And that's probably going a little bit overboard. But now that we've got a chance to build a retinue and he's even stronger and make more money, let's do it. Kind of watching our allies here in this holy war. How's that war going? 0% war score. Somebody's going to go there, right? If need be, we're going to have to send troops there because we don't want to lose and have the moral authority of the Tangri Empire decrease. Good, our vassals are fighting the Knights Templar or someone. Uh, why don't we move you all right here? Oh, we got more people coming in from the east. Better late than never. Oh, and here's an army that's got nothing to do. Plus, our empire will look so much better if we can organize these parts. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. I did not see that happening. Fucking, who was that? Knights Templar, I think? Yeah, the damn Knights Templar. Let's get everybody up there we can. The problem with an organization like the Knights Templar, they can raise a huge amount of troops in a very small amount of time. Come on, army! Hold up! Luckily, we're defending on a hill. Victory! Not there. Apparently, we're fighting some little guys. All right, these reinforcements will be in very shortly. Not only do I not want to lose this, I want to lose as few guys as possible. These are just our vassal troops, so if people die, it's less of our problem. But definitely, you don't want to have too many people die. There we go! Suck it, knights! How would you like a sword in your rectum? Because I can do that. Boom! Destroyed! We are at 45% war score. We will send you there. Um, you guys can go right here. Man, that's one of those things in the game where if I hadn't come back, we would have lost a major army. Come on, let's get this to surrender to us. Theodoric, the dorky king of Germany. You're about to lose most of your kingdom, bitch. Sorry, this just fascinates me with how England managed to reappear. Kaiser Hartmann III of the Holy Roman Empire has set up Pope Philip as the anti-pope. Named Pope Alexander IV. Interesting. 
Kaiser Hartman is like, I want my own Pope. The anti-papacy of Pope Alexander VI has ended. I wasn't paying attention to this. Does that mean the new Pope won? I, you know. We're tangry. All those Popes look the same to us. Don't judge me. <laughs> You can a little bit. Or a lot. It's up to you. It's your life. Alright, why don't we send some reinforcements to help with this. We'll split this army too. Send some guys here to Wurzburg. Uh, more stupid siege posts falling. Come on, let's take one of these castles. As soon as we occupy one of these territories here that we need to take... Our war score is going to go up dramatically from 42%. I will appoint a new commander. The Crusades are not going well, though. Apparently our vassals are not doing much there. Come on, vassals. Fuck these guys up. Victory! The Battle of Heidelberg. We decided to create some printing presses there. So we could tell everyone of our great victory. Still see some um, knights out here. Doing pretty good in this. I'm starting to think the other Holy War we might lose if some of our allies... I thought more people would want to do something about it. Apparently nobody wants the kingdom there. Sooner or later you'd think the king of Sweden would send his armies to fight us. Because that's how every war with the Holy Roman Empire goes. We kick the crap out of the Holy Roman Empire. The Swedes send troops to try and stop us. Then we kick the crap out of them. I don't care about all these trade posts falling in the north. Now let's just get us a little chunk of Germany. Eh? I tell you what, though, the Pope and his friends have proven to continue to be a problem. Just when I thought we were done with Catholicism, they're like, nope. We're going to fight another crusade. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Borislav, is pregnant. Man, Lex popping out them babies. He's only 17. He's going to have had two kids already, two or three. Because he's got one or two on the way. What's up now, Holy Roman Emperor? You should have just given it to us in the first place. My liege, don't use it. He's like, I got a claim on this territory. We can't afford that, bro. Plus, if we're going to go fight a war right after this one, it's not going to be for some little area in Asia. It's going to be for a big area in South Asia. Victory! We are at 60%. That dramatically helped the war score. And we're start getting more ticking... Time. Kaiser Hartman III of the Holy Roman Empire set up Pope Philip as the anti-pope named Pope Benedictus V. Your dank is pregnant, man. The anti-papacy of Pope Benedictus V has ended. Oh wait, maybe these new popes are just not really good. Maybe the old pope has them killed, I don't know. Come on, let's take Salzburg here. Um, we should be sieging here. How's that going? Eh, it's going all right. How is... I don't care about that. How is France doing? They're still in the middle of a giant rebellion. Apparently, we're fighting part of the rebel areas? No, the queen has retaken all of it? She's not at war with us, though. You know what would be hilarious is if the new king of England becomes Lollard. <laughs> like, after they did that whole thing for the whole crusade. Come on, dude, join the new religion. We'll let that prisoner rot. Sorry for speeding through those. It's just somebody like, I don't want to be in prison. And I'm like, I don't want to read your damn bitchin'. You're in prison for a reason. I don't know what it is. Lex is like, you can appeal to the emperor. 
But you're the emperor. Yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> As you travel by carriage on a road in Sofia, you pass by what appears to be an old shuttered inn. The sight of it fills you with questions. What forces them to close down? Could you do a better job than previous owners? Perhaps this would be the golden opportunity to improve your stewardship. It is settled. We will buy the inn for 50. He's like, no, I've got a hobby, honey. I thought war was your honey, was your hobby. Yeah, but I'm expanding it. Wars and inns. Maybe an inn where we stab you. Any moment now, we will siege the castle here in the Weimar area. Maybe we should form some sort of republic there. So that's actually not going to be something we will win in this war. We should take these three, ideally. And then the only part of Germany we won't have is Breisagoga. I pronounced that perfectly, thank you. 67% war score in our favor. I have a feeling we... Tangri is going to lose the Holy War here because I see very... Oh, wait, no, we have allies there. Hell yeah, from our vassal High Chief Jerolem. That is a good holy man. Oh, and we see more allies marching out. In fact, the Lords of the Sky who refused to help us in this Holy War are at least helping in that one. Who the hell are these assholes up here? England? Are we fighting England now? Oh, yeah. You sons of bitches. Can you believe that? I don't remember this England. The vagrants in your new inn have been evicted, and the holes in the roof have been patched, and the whole building has been thoroughly aired out to cleanse it of hobo shit and the most offensive odors. New staff has been hired, and the time has come for you to decide on the name for the inn. All right, what is he like? He's content. Greedy. And Roth. So I think he'd want to call it the Drunken Squire. Or the Bottomless Tankard. I think he'd call it the Bottomless Tankard because he's greedy. Because he's gonna be like, everyone will think you get good deals on drinks and you don't. Ho ho ho. It's mostly urine. That's cheap. 72% war score in our favor. We have finished sieging the castle here. At Kaiser Lot and Lot and that place. Any moment now, too, we will finish sieging Castle Schweifenfurt. How do you feel about that, Fraulein? She's like, oh, you said I was a Fraulein. Such a compliment. Yeah, I know. Let's make out. <laughs> what? We got some money going because, thank God, we're not paying for this war, really. So why don't we... How is our retinue doing? Basically built up. We have room to expand it further, though. We're just going to go down the list and get a bunch of stuff. Alright, I don't want this one. The rest of y'all merge. And we will send you right here. Hopefully I didn't go overboard. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Man, this episode was fun. We've got a war to finish. Hmm, we got a new enemy in England. Ooh, England's got a rebellion going on too. What is this rebellion? Tagging King Gul... What is it? Gulhem? The third of England in the Civil War to lower crown authority. Excellent. Most excellent. Western Europe is crumbling. Italy is pretty solid, though. I'll see y'all next time when hopefully we can finish off the King of Germany, the Holy Roman Empire, and take a little more of Germany for us. Take it easy, everybody.